What's up peeps, Meads here for another Super Deformed review and this time it's BB Senshi number 224 the AMA X2 New ZL Yep, and this is pretty much the counterpart for the Dendrobium I think, yeah <laughs> And I'm just gonna quickly look at the side of the box Here you do have a Shushu like a painted, it actually it's kind of weathered effect for the New Zeal. It's really nice. And the back here, uh, it just tells you a little bit about the mobile suit. It's a mega uh, mega particle gun on the shoulders. Also a, a high field generator. So it has a offensive and defensive capabilities. And has a war claw arm, which is pretty cool. And the size of this thing uh, in the anime. I'm just looking at this picture right here. The Zaku, I think, could be a, another Zeon suit. It's pretty much the size of the New Zealand's head. So this thing is massive. It's like a Sentinel mobile suit, pretty much. And I got this for about, well, the retail price on this one is 800 yen. But, uh, you know, it's probably $12 or more, depending on where you get it. So there we go. And we're going to go ahead and look at the kit. So here's the kit itself, um, I don't know if you guys can see that but there is an eye sticker right there and I choose the one that's pointing forward. There's two others, one left or, or the right and that's pretty much all for the stickers. Uh, other than that, I just pound line this whole thing. So it does require a little bit more painting um, like the red or inside the thrusters and pretty much painting the beam saber. That's about it. And I'll probably try doing the weathering effect seen in the box art. Um, so we'll go ahead and do the articulation. So first off, the articulation, you do have the head here. You only get that uh, much. Uh, you can, you know, pretty much lift it up if you want. Go 360, but uh, there's no need. <laughs> uh, the shoulder armor here is actually di separate from the uh, arm right there and we'll go ahead and take it out and one cool thing about this kit is you do have this detail inside the gray parts and it's all hollow there and unfortunately it's not you know something that uh, articulated that this thing just moves up you don't have that uh, instead of they just decided to stick with the pegs right there so it's, that's a bit of the con. I kind of wish you can move this around. But other than that, that's fine. So that's pretty much that for that piece. And again, there's a ball joint right there. And just uh, moving on with the articulation, you do have this arm here. A uh, really good articulation for the arm. And you do have this elbow, really nice. So you do have polycups inside that elbow, the shoulder, and it's kind of flexible here. And not quite sure if it's polycup, kind of is. Same thing with the flexible hose here. And for the side skirt, actually it has some nice details inside. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's really nice. Um, you do have that articulation there. So that's really nice for the side skirt. I don't know if you can call this the back skirt, because this kind of is, but this one's just pegged right there on the back. Okay, I do have this movement here, and it's pretty much a tripod, that's how it stands. Like that. Or, it can stand. It's kind of heavy on one side because of the shoulder armor. I took it out. <laughs> but other than that, you do have this part here, it's just another thruster. Um, does have that articulation, but not so much. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the articulation. Gimmicks, um, actually, for the accessories, you have these extra pieces right here. I kind of made a mistake because they're attached this way. I cut that part off. I pretty much use, just have to fold it like so. I didn't do it, I, I cut it. But other than that, it's still fine if you do cut it. Just, you know, put them together. Might help if you super glue it. So you get the pegs to, you know, stick together. 
and it just mounts on the back inside the back of the shoulder armor like so and we'll do the same for the other side oh before I forgot just look at the back that's some nice details especially this part kind of reminds you of the double O kits with the Gianna generator or the reactor which is really nice so yeah it does have some nice details to it you know despite that limited articulation here but it's still nice <laughs> so let's just add this one uh, uh nope took part yeah it's a bit tricky <laughs> there we go so it kind of has like six arms <laughs> and I guess they're cannons pretty much same as the hand and for the beam saber effect you do have this it's green um, so going to paint it like lime or yellow and it just you have enough um, um, clearance there to put it in and there you go it would be cool if you have two of them so you can put the <laughs> on both hands and oh pops right there <laughs> but um, another cool gimmick is the wire and pretty much we're just gonna separate this part right here and it does come with two connectors and you just mount it like that. Uh, the wire is actually twice as long. You do have to cut it, else it's just gonna be too long. But it does give you the option of how long you want it. It goes to the other part of the hand. And I'm just gonna connect this last part. There we go. So now you have a longer reach. Which is really nice. <laughs> and uh, I guess you guys want to have some size of comparison. There we go. I'm just going to put the hand away. So uh, we'll go with the RX-78. Because most of us have that. And for those who have a uh, super deformed Alex. There you go. Or for the new ones. <laughs> You probably have a RX Zero or the Unicorn. So uh, it is slightly bigger, and actually the width of it is probably comparable to the Double O Riser. And one cool thing about this, and it's pretty much one of the reasons why I got it, is that I guess it's like similar to the Xeon suits, that it's it's a scale down. It doesn't, you know, it's not cute. And sort of form like the RX. It actually looks like it's a scaled down model of the you know the real thing, which is really nice. <laughs> and yeah, it, and I'm quite glad I got it. Uh, you know, I'm also you know able to share to you guys uh, a review of it because I'm, I don't think I've seen one yet, or maybe there is. But yeah, I hope you get, uh, find this very informative, and you know hopefully this helps you you know decide if you want to get this kit and um, actually I highly recommend getting it it's one of those cool unique ones so there we go that's my review of the new zeal hope you guys enjoy it so until then this is me thank you for watching